Everyone has heard of cancer, but most people know little or nothing about a rare form of cancer, Pseudomyxoma peritonei. PMP cancer typically originates in the appendix. Dr. Stephen Arndt of the Hillman Cancer Center at UPMC in Pittsburgh explains how PMP forms. PMP is a disease which usually starts uh, from a tumor in the appendix and usually before a patient's aware of it the tumor will lead to a, a rupture in the appendix where some of the, the cells of the tumor uh, escape the appendix and disperse or collect around the abdominal cavity and the key thing which makes PMP different from almost all other tumors is that it makes a mucinous or mucous material or like jelly which collects inside the abdominal cavity and uh, over time this material can can grow in volume and often that's what a patient will will experience first. PMP cancer is serious and presently incurable there is no known cause of the disease, nor is there evidence of a genetic or familial link at this time. For most patients, by the time symptoms become apparent, PMP has spread through the abdominal cavity, affecting both vital and non-vital organs. You know, for me it took six days basically to drill down and figure out what it was, which is a really quick diagnosis by comparison. Some people have symptoms and go to the doctor and they're told they have IBS or they're told they have this or that and three years later somebody figures out that it's this disease and that for those three years it's growing and causing more and more problems so I think just having better information about what the things are to look for and what it could indicate would help a lot of people eventually. Like Jerry, many patients hope to see developments in diagnosis and treatment of PMP in the future yet only 20 years ago there was even less known about the disease and there were no options for treatment. That all changed when Dr. Paul Sugarbaker developed a surgical procedure that could be used to remove as much tumor and mucin as possible. While this revolutionary procedure is complex and difficult for both the surgeon and patient, it can usually prolong the life of the patient to some degree. And we all owe him a debt of gratitude because he's really been able to um, improve the quality of life and the prognosis for a lot of patients who have this disease. Also benefiting from PMP's surgical treatment method is PMP patient Lisa Luciano. Though she felt helpless and hopeless immediately following her initial 10-hour surgery, Lisa knew that she had the willpower to help others understand the disease and help find a cure. So I began to think about ways that I could make a difference and one of the ways was to help form a foundation that would be a nonprofit charity that help, hopefully people that cared about the cause would contribute to and help us to grow an amount of money that we could use to fund research for PMP. Through fundraising efforts like the successful PMP Cancer Awareness Walk held annually in Philadelphia each June, a 5K, 10K walk run in Cleveland in August, small raffles in the workplace, and other fundraising activities, PMP RF's board and supporters have helped to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars so far, the first publicly funded research grants for PMP. In my mind, I'm hoping that we can raise at least a million dollars over the next three years. If we can raise a million dollars, I think we can make a significant dent in, in the research for this cancer. Lisa will continue to push until the goal is met. According to Jerry Lewandowski's wife, Carolyn. She's really just motivated all of us who are involved to do everything we can do to turn this into a, you know, an, a powerful voice for these patients who, you know, there's a lot of support out there, but there wasn't really a group that was advocating and getting the word out. And I'm also just dedicated to raising funds to find a cure. And we felt like there was a void there. And under her leadership, we've just really come a long way in a really short time. While Luciano hopes to live for a long time, she finds comfort in the knowledge that even if research isn't able to help her or the many individuals fighting the battle against PMP cancer, it will help others in the future who may be diagnosed with PMP and honor those who have lost the fight, leaving behind the families and friends who love them. With help, 
PMPRF can fund research that will lead to improved treatments for not only PMP cancer, but for two other forms of cancer that affect the lives of numerous people every year, colon and ovarian cancer. I think people want to help. They want to participate. They want to do things. It's just a matter of someone coming, you know, a group coming together like us and, and giving people the opportunity to help. We don't have the attention of the federal government as far as clinical trials due to our numbers and we don't have a big budget to afford some of the mar major marketing campaigns of some of the other cancers, but we do have a really strong will to live. Lisa Luciano realizes that PMP cancer is pretty rare. But everyone struggling with cancer or any rare disease needs to have hope. We may not have the budgets of other more common cancers. We may not have the federal government's attention in terms of clinical trials. But we do have just as strong of a will to live. Hope of a cure is what gets Lisa Luciano through every day. If you would like to donate to PMPRF, hold a fundraiser, or learn more about PMP cancer, please visit their website, www.pmpcure.org. This program is a production of Broadcast Media Ideas. Michael Satoni Company.